In this example, we will perform a contact analysis on this bicycle brake caliper. The mechanism is activated by pulling a lever, which retracts a cable that is running through a stiff housing. The cable provides the upward force on the indicated circular section, and the housing provides the downward force on this section. The block simulates the wheel's rim. The wheel is free to move until the rim is contacted by the brake pads. In the Advanced Simulation Toolbar, select Surface to Surface Contact. From the Type List, select Manual. This method lets you select the source and target regions that will be in contact. Next to the Source Region list, click Create Region. A region is a reusable collection of surfaces you can use to define contact or glue connections. In this case, the region will consist of a single face. Select the face of the block. And click OK. Now create the target region. Next to the target region list, click Create Region. Use Quick Pick to select the inside face of the brake caliper that contacts the block. Click OK. And click Apply to create the contact. Next, repeat the same steps to create a contact on the other end of the caliper. Edit the solution. Click the Case Control tab. The Global Contact Parameters Modeling object lets you define contact parameters for all contact definitions in a solution. Typically, you should start with the default contact parameters. Then, if your solution does not converge, you can adjust these parameters. By default, contact force and pressure are not generated. However, you can request contact force and pressure output by editing the output requests. Click the Edit button next to Output Requests. Click the Contact Results tab. To request contact force and pressure output, select Enable BC Results Request. Now we can solve the model. In the Advanced Simulation toolbar, click Solve. The contact analysis convergence graph plots the percentage of contact changes against the iteration number. Display the post processing navigator and load their results. First, we will view the stress results. Next display the contact force results. Finally, we will examine the contact pressure results. 